Travis Wayne Goodsell. And this is another reading of notification to Judge Waddups in a lawsuit against the Corporation of the President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, 219 CB 00711 CW. The plaintiff has found Utah Administration Code R 432-270 Assisted Living Facilities, upon which listed co-conspirators Valley Behavioral Health and Danville Development are using to justify evicting the plaintiff without the use of the federal courts. The Utah Code only applies to Type 1 and Type 2 assisted living facilities, but not independent living facilities, which evictions must be held in the federal civil courts. Here is the link. And I post the link. Attached is a Word document of the code. I did a copy and paste on a Word document and submitted that. Just in case the uh, internet goes down, although they wouldn't have access to the email anyway, so they'd have to print it, and then the internet would have to go down, and then they'd have to rely on the printed. The plaintiff has previously presented your honor with his MARs, confirming the plaintiff has been discharged from Valley Behavioral Health and is listed as independent living, requiring any and all evictions to be held in the federal courts. Your Honor will take note that the plaintiff's residence is in violation of the legal requirements to classify the building as assisted living, types 1 or 2, as there are no on-site nursing nor food services for a couple of examples. This confirms that the plaintiff is correct by informing your honor that Valley Behavioral Health and conspiracy with Danville are fraudulently attempting to transform the residents into assisted living and reclassify discharged independent residents as assisted living, or evict them if they fail to be reclassified. This evidence demonstrates the further attempt to tamper with the plaintiff's case with the premeditated attempt to cause harm to the plaintiff to protect the defendant before your honor makes your final decision. The plaintiff reminds your honor of Saturday's notification including the defendant's first presidency statement to the religious leadership not to inadvertently adversely affect legal cases against the defendant, confirming the defendant is well aware they must also prevent any and all accused co-conspirators, not just religious leadership, which means that the defendant has directly ordered... Oh, yeah. Which means that the defendant has directly ordered Valley Behavioral Health and Danville to evict the plaintiff in violation of the law as soon as possible before your honor's final decision. The plaintiff has also provided the posted outdated licensing, which does not indicate any, any way that the residence is type 1 or 2, as tenants have been informed we are independent. The plaintiff again reminds your honor that Valley Behavioral Health and Danville intend to go through with the eviction of the plaintiff and have already established and and has already this is the plaintiff not Danville and has already established a conspiracy with the West Valley City Police as indicated in the plaintiff's complaint. Valley Behavioral Health will immediately notify West Valley City Police uh, after tomorrow's eviction of tomorrow's eviction. Let's try that. Of tomorrow's 10 a.m. eviction. And will request assistance needed
as West Valley City Police will comply and remove the plaintiff from his residence with armed force and the complaint against the defendant will be dropped because of the lack of residence and ability to communicate with the court. Or is that your honor's intention with the continuous delays? This would yet again prove the complaint of the plaintiff prove the complaint of the plaintiff. The plaintiff is filing this after 5.30 p.m. and currently is unaware of any previous of any potential decision by your honor made after noon today. So if I get a dream tomorrow or the next day uh, of uh, they want you dead, you need to run. But uh, if I get evicted with a police presence, uh, I will only be allowed to gather what I can carry. Assuming that they'll even be generous enough to allow me to gather some stuff together and not just kick me out without even bothering to allow me to take anything with me. But yeah, this is uh, how it works. Utah. The church will defend themselves at all costs. So, there you go. It's on the public record. It's on the docket. They post all of this stuff. My whole complaint, the motions, the default filing of the defense counsel, all of it. It's all in the public record. Everybody knows the church is guilty and nobody's doing a damn thing about it.